I think we go into this season with crops with reasonable potential um, and a bit of a disease burden. I think septoria is the, is the obvious and, and continual problem that we suffer uh, and that would be our, you know, the primary reason for our T1, T2 choices. We may need to add other things to control the rusts or other diseases as we go into the spring. I'd say most farmers probably feel it's been a pretty good good winter and most importantly crops look well. I mean way better than they did this time last year. Considering budgets on farm with uh, a good degree of inflation baked into uh, fixed cost structures uh, slightly depressed wheat price compared to uh, what we may have been budgeting on six months ago. Budgets are under some pressure and we'll have to think quite carefully about uh, every input decision in terms of margin over input cost benefit. t knots and wheat are a good example of where they shouldn't be ubiquitous across all crops. You can really look at the ones where the risk is high, you're seeing disease and reflect that in the programmes. And it's going to be very difficult actually for growers to actually unpick that and, and pick what's best for them and what suits suits their programme. Also think of the disease that's there, the crop that they're growing, the variety they're growing, where they are in, in the uh, country and bringing it all so together so it will become quite difficult for, for growers to actually decide what they're going to use. So it is about understanding where that epidemic or the disease pressure is at and matching your chemistry and your strengths of the chemistry to the point of where it's going to be most effective, be that leaf tree or be that flag leaf. Preferentially for me, I think it sits extremely well at T2, where you get the most value for your, your spray products. If you look at the HTB fungicide performance work, um, Univoc comes out as one of the highest yielding products, which makes it attractive as a as a flag leaf spray. Yeah, and obviously Inatrack has the flexibility of being a T1 or T2, um, very strong at T2, but we see a lot of good trial performance at T1 as well. Yeah, I mean, we've been looking at Univoc for about 10 years now, and, and it has quite consistently provided a level of septoria control uh, for us and, and continues to do that. Uh, it's, a, it's a highly active um, molecule, the fentacoximid, and that works really well. Uh, so yeah, clearly it is um, something that uh, can support our programmes effectively. Thinking about fungicide programmes in relation to resistance management, I think um, you know, that has to be about using effective rates uh, of combinations of, of actives and modes of action. Being able to have something new and something a slightly different type of mode of action within your programme is obviously very beneficial to, for resistance management. I, I agree we've got a good range of tools and that's really positive and everything that we know about fungicide stewardship is about minimising reliance on any one individual active. So having a range of actives is, is really healthy. Um, mixing and you know distributing them through a program so that you get the best diversity is really key. We are looking at is all SDHI, QII in the form of Inatrec and um, they're all going into the program and equally on top of that we do use multi-sites so be that sulfur be that full but they will be going in there um, at that leaf tree and the flag leaf application. Mm -hmm.